Have you ever come off a cycle and thought, the heck? Where are the gains at? Is this it? Maybe you've taken the exact same dosage before for the same number of weeks, and now you get a fourth of gains. What happened? Maybe your blood markers are good. Your cholesterol, your liver, everything looks, it checks out. You're also not under trading. You're not over trading. What is happening here? Well, it could be in some cases, your receptors are blocked. This is where Genesis 1 comes into play. I have never missed PCT with Genesis 1 because it helps my body respond better the next time, the next cycle. This is everything you need to know about Genesis 1. The only video ever to be created on it. <laughs> We're going to knock it out of the park for you. My brothers, let's get it. You are now in the presence of a... So what actually is Genesis 1? So I'm not even trolling you guys. Genesis 1 is one of my favorite products of all time. And it's relatively unknown because, well, it's not a pro-hormone. It's not a SARM or anything sexy like a steroid. But it is a regenerative peptide. And it's very powerful. It's derived actually from chicken embryo extract. Early developed chicken embryos. Which is weird and also interesting. Guys, in here, in this little product right here you've got a number of growth factors one that you've probably heard before called igf1 also igf2 and this is where things get weird again because well uh it's acronym soup from there you've got ngf you've got fgf you've got ctgf you've got tgf beta and then there's a couple more but uh that's good enough for now the point of these is that our body sees these naturally as rebuilders or rebuilders of connective tissue muscle nerves and joints and this is, as I mentioned, not hormonal, so we don't have to worry about exogenous foreign stuff coming into our bodies because it's not a pro-hormone SARM or the real gear. What it is, is a supporter of natural pathways, more specifically growth factor pathways, which are mechanisms in our body that already exist, designed for regeneration and recovery. So here's how it works mechanistically. And we're gonna make this stupid simple. Everything is all right here, brother. We've got pro-hormones, we've got some SARMs, we're gonna be adding some peptides, we're going to be hitting everything, all of them, every anabolic ever. We're never going to stop. Link in description. All right, back to it. So here's how it works. And you'll notice the differences right off the bat compared to pro-hormone SARMs and the real gear. And this is where a lot of guys get it wrong. You see, when you ingest one of these pills, it's not going to increase your testosterone, not going to mess with your estrogen, not DHT, not mess with your HPT axis at all. It's not going to spike anything. What it is going to do, though, is activate repair signals. And when this compound gets into the body, it's going to go and find damaged cells or stressed out cells. And that's going to activate very specific recovery pathways. IGF-1 is going to rebuild muscle and enhance protein synthesis. FGF both stimulates collagen and joint healing. NGF supports nerve recovery and lifts mental clarity. TGF-beta controls inflammation and fibrosis. VEGF, which I forgot to even mention earlier, increases blood flow through new capillary growth, aka the pump. MicroRNAs, which coordinate and accelerate repair at the genetic level. And most importantly, it's going to increase your androgen receptor sensitivity or clear those receptors. You see, guys, when we get off cycle, whether we're on pro hormone SARMs, the real gear, two pro hormones, you probably should be fine. Three potentially, if you add in SARMs, absolutely. And the real gear, yes. When you get off cycle, you're going to feel like crap but your androgen receptors are also going to be plugged up with androgens. What this means is that when you get off cycle and then you get back on cycle, the next cycle is not going to do what it says or what it should do because your androgen receptors are all plugged up. So Genesis 1 goes in there and clears those, which makes you sensitive to just about everything, including caffeine. Exogenous IGF-1, aka IGF-1 LR3, for instance. How this differs? Well, it's exogenous. Your body sees it as an outside source. Genesis 1 is endogenous, meaning that it uses your body's current natural structures to increase your IGF-1 naturally. And what about the benefits of Genesis 1? Now, I personally notice an increase in recovery. Now, I work out three days a week. I know that's not a lot for some of you, but that's what I choose to do because I absolutely love that amount of time. And I've tried four. It's just a little too much. I work out really hard. Some of you are going to say probably not hard enough. But how I know that this is increasing my recovery is, first of all, better sleep. Secondly, a good rule of thumb is when you walk into the gym, make sure that you have your base weight. Pick up a bar, put some weights on it, hold it. See what your grip strength is like. 
That is your baseline for central nervous system. This one, guys, is ignored all the time. I've said it in many videos, but still, people aren't listening. Mood-wise, there is nothing better in my opinion. This guy right here, I, I kid you not, it's a 10 out of 10. As long as you put yourself in a place to be happy. Joint lubrication, that's also an aspect of this. So, strength's going to go up, obviously. And if it's not obvious to you, anything in the GH pathway is going to increase water. Not as much as GH or MK677, which leads us to the tiredness, which is, yes, that's that does happen. Again, sleep is going to improve, <laughs> but not near as bad as GH, the real stuff, or MK677, which is almost crippling in terms of lethargy. And a lot of people online are going to tell you that... Um, well, there's not many people talking about this online, but those who are, it's typically reviews on sites selling this stuff. So I would take it with a grain of salt. But this is supposed to increase muscle mass, which makes sense because IGF-1 increases muscle mass. I personally don't notice much. But what I do really like about this product is, for reasons we've already discovered, is that it does increase your sensitivity. And not just to androgens, to anything. She legit. I don't know why I started there. Caffeine or any adaptogen. I take adaptogens every morning and I notice I'm not even trolling you two times the output in terms of feeling wise. That's neurogenesis. And why does it work so well? Now, by the time one of these little pills hits your system, it's going to immediately start to go into damage control. This is the power in this. You see, it's not just flooding your body with exogenous synthetic IGF-1. It's not synthetic at all. As we talked about, it's natural, natural ratios, full spectrum, not IG, not just IGF-1, but IGF-2 and all the other acronym soup that we talked about. And this is actually the same things that we rely on in early development, much like these chicken embryos do in early development too. That's why you don't just feel stronger. You feel better, your mood improves, your joints lube up, your recovery gets better, you're just more responsive. In normal cases, we're talking about spiking our levels. In this case, it's not really about that. It's more about restoring the communication between your nerves, joints, tendons, and muscles. So I already mentioned IGF-1 LR3, but how does this differ from other IGF-1 products? Now, pretty much every single other IGF-1 product that we've talked about before, and if we haven't talked about it because you know, this is your first video, Pro IGF-1 by High Tech Pharmaceuticals or Black Zone Labs IGF-1. These both increase IGF-1. In fact, I have numbers to prove it even though it pulses all throughout the day. I have conclusively found that both of them do increase my IGF-1 levels. I love those products. Tested them, and I continue to use them. However, we're missing out on the bigger picture here. Genesis 1 provides something that neither one of those can't, and that's a real focus on recovery. As we mentioned, nerve recovery. But more importantly, the biggest thing is that androgen receptor sensitivity. The others, they're not going to do that. And let's talk about the side effects. Now, for me personally, I noticed this many side effects. It's pretty clean. But there have been some cases that I've stumbled across that talk about some mild stomach discomfort. Others, headaches. And then, of course, with IGF-1 in general, we've got to pay attention to the blood sugar dips and any potential fatigue. But this ain't GH or MK677, so it's not going to be that bad. So if it does come up, it'll be minimal. And because it's not operating the HPTA axis, HPTA axis <laughs> we don't have to worry about testosterone, estrogen, or DHT being thrown out of whack. So our natural testosterone ain't going to be touched. So there's no suppression. And the dosing. Now, this one's pretty easy. It's going to be 150 milligrams in the morning and 150 milligrams in the evening. Now, I personally haven't had any stomach issues taking this. Some people have, though, clearly by some of the comments we've seen. So, take it with food if that's the case. No cycling needed. But, guys, yes, you should run it probably 8 to 12 weeks if that is your PCT. But you can take it year-round if you want to. But I wouldn't only because you want to be sensitive to the things that are sensitizing your receptors. <laughs> oh, and since there's no suppression, you won't need a PCT. Now, the real question is, who should be using Genesis 1? Now, I am abundantly aware that we've already mentioned this, but it is going to benefit the most for those who are getting off cycle. So that's 8 to 12 weeks in between cycles to clear out those receptors. But the next case is going to be someone who's on TRT. Now, I am not a doctor. I would never recommend what I'm about to tell you, but some of you are doing it, so I've got to say it. 200 milligrams, 150 to 200 milligrams is typically the TRT dosage of testosterone. But some of you are increasing that to sports TRT, which is around 300 milligrams. And if that's the case, to be perfectly honest, it's going to help. It's going to increase your androgen receptor sensitivity, making that 100 milligrams increase a heck of a lot more than it actually is. And lastly, it goes for any cycle. 
Yes, TRT, you could do it there. But here's the catch. With any cycle, whether it's pro-hormone SARMs or the real gear, yes, it will increase recovery and protect your receptors. But this is a big but. When you get off, because those androgen receptors are now flooded with androgens, now you're going to be dealing with some real issues when you get onto your next cycle because you've got all those androgens taking up all those spots. So you may not feel the next cycle as much. You can do it, but you've been warned. Okay, final thoughts. Though as much as we don't like to admit it, sometimes we fall victim to the more problem. We feel like we need more for hormone storms, the real gear. But the truth is we don't always need more. Sometimes it's about a full reset or just increasing the responsiveness of your body and your cells. That's where Genesis 1 comes in. Guys, if you've been watching my videos, if you've been taking a lot of notes, go pick up the encyclopedia. It's got everything in there, not just for Pro IGF-1 and Genesis 1, a bunch of other products, and of course, every pro hormone. Every video we've covered is in there, and we're only adding every single week. My brothers, here's Pro IGF-1. It's more about GH or IGF-1, more about the science of it. It's a really good one. You're going to love it. Until next week, I love you. Stay safe and stay. There's something on that side. Swole. My brothers.